so I don't know. Do you rotate at up to 380 rotations per minute? What? No? What? Is that a joke? I don't get it. I don't get that at all. Oh, then you aren't a big fan. Duh. Okay, I should have I should have gotten that joke. That was so obvious. Oh, my gear needs to be repaired. So I think I'm kind of stuck. I think I'm stuck with my weapon until I get a, a higher tier of respect here or in Manshire. I think at the highest tier of respect in Manshire, they can sell me a guy's arm or, or uh, another weapon that would be useful. But my weapon's not bad. I just wish it was better. I just have money and want to spend it. Have money, will spend. Um, hmm. I might drop down to this. I don't know. It's still negative energy. Oh, this hat? I thought this hat had six per protection on it. Money burning a hole in your pocket. It really does in this game in particular. I don't like sitting on a big stack of money. I always try to spend down. I always, always want to have like the least amount of money as possible. Yeah, I thought this used to have six protection. Maybe it didn't and I'm just misremembering, but... Yeah, whatever. I'll leave. I know, I know. You, lo you love to have a, a stockpile of money huge. You're a, a money hoarder. I feel best when I have like a thousand gold. That is when I feel like I'm playing my character the best. So I'm going to go to sleep so I can wake up in the morning and just look at the regular shops here. Just in case, because they sell some good gear too. And then we'll get back to questing, as mentioned. I want to get level 14 and stab a troll to death today. I really want that to happen. And if I die, that'll be okay. When I die to doing something dumb, I'm a, like, I feel bad, but I, I, I won't. If I die to the troll, I won't feel bad at all. I will, I will feel fine. Yes, yes, glad to be here for the troll stabbing. Oh, yeah, and I also wanted to mention tonight's stream. I, I, I don't know if it's going to end at 7. If, if people are having a really good time, and I'm really having a good time as well, I'm just going to keep streaming. It's a celebration stream. If we're having a good time, I'm not going to end the celebration exactly at 7. Not not guaranteeing it's going to be extended, but maybe. Do I not? I have, yeah, I have money. I thought she wouldn't sell me a room for a second there. But yeah, it's just, just, you know. I've got the time tonight, and uh, my roommate's home and stuff, so no guarantee. What's the list for rogue roguelites? Gungeon number one, uh, uh, faster than light as well, both guaranteed to be there. And then if I'm feeling like it, Hades and Slay the Spire will be the next two. A uh, quick warning about Hades though, just a quick uh, Hades note. Hades is a game about Greek mythology and um, they, the, the gods, you see them and they're very like attractive. You, they're, Ares is like a, you know, a, a a uh, a six pack topless dude, and they're all like that. So so um, that's gonna be the closest to like uh, explicit content you'll ever see on stream. Hades is a it's a great art style, but when the gods show up, they're very attractive, and the the lady gods as well. Like Aphrodite is just completely naked. Uh, she her hair covers her. That's it. So um so just a warning, slight inappropriateness or whatever. I wouldn't normally have that on my stream, but. Hades is a great game. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be Gungeon and Faster Than Light. And then we'll see how it's going. Maybe some Slay the Spire in Hades. Just him. I'm going to start buying a Bassa. I want to start using it, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start drinking a Bassa. I have the money, too. I'll just buy it. I'll buy two right now. Ooh, and I'll buy a wine. There we go. It's so light, I would never, I wouldn't, yeah, I would, I, I, and again, in my personal life, I'm not, like, offended by it, um, and they're not, like, on screen the whole time making, like, gross noises, um, but I just, you know, I, I keep the stream really clean, so this is gonna be a little bit more, you know, risque than, than the other games I would play, um, but it's, not, again, it's not graphic, there's no nudity, it's all within Twitch terms of service, um, and they're Greek gods, they're gonna be attractive, you know? Like, it's not like Greek gods are going to come showing up looking like an, your average Joe. It's Ares, the god of war. You know, he, he is deserving of the six-pack they drew on him. But, but uh, yeah, so just, just a little warning. And we might not even get to Hades. 
My, we might just do do a Gungeon the whole time. I'm a big, big fan of Gungeon, and if people are enjoying it, it's it's probably gonna keep getting played for a long time. What are you selling? I thought this was a guy's arm for like half a second. I was like totally baited. I know it doesn't even really look like this. I just, I, I it baited me. Okay, nothing here. Whatever, I'll buy this, I'll buy that. I, I used a smoke bomb before and it was pretty good. The boss was like, they were just absolutely in shambles trying to hit me, so. I'll buy another one. Game, okay. I, I mention this every time. When the game takes like slightly longer than usual to load in, I'm like, don't crash, please don't crash. You can't crash on me, game. But the game is really stable. Like the other day, when I was stuck in a door and the game crashed, that might have been the first crash I've ever had with this game. Like literally ever. Um, the game has got a really good stability record for me. Um, I, I won't get the buff. I'll just get it back in Manshire. Do you know? Uh, do you know Hades Huge? Do you know the game? Because it's an awesome game. A lot of people think it's the best roguelite ever. I disagree with that. I think it's very far away from the best roguelite ever, but I think it's a wonderful game still. Played some? Let's go. Let's go. I haven't played Hades in a long time, so I'll be really rusty if we play it today. I will be bad. I'll be bad at Gungeon too. Prepare to see some really weird damage taken in Gungeon. I will be walking into bullets left and right. Oh, okay, let's go. You, do you play uh, Stardew? And I, I love, I, this is like a weird thing. I never played the original Subnautica, but I've played a lot of Below Zero, and I love Subnautica Below Zero. I know people say the original game's better. Um, I know Sub-Zero was initially going to be a, a DLC, but the scope was larger than they planned, so they made it a, its own game. Um, so a little, some people were disappointed with it, but I loved it. I was super, super happy with it. Um, and I've played a lot of Stardew as well, just on the Switch with my roommate. We've 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 put like like hundreds of hours into Stardew. My roommate likes games like that, just like little adventure games where you're, you're kind of just chilling the whole time. That is probably their most preferred game or game like genre. Are all the purses on the ground empty. I just want to make sure. It didn't have even more money. Okay, yeah, they're empty. Ground purses are empty. Smoke bomb shouldn't have been thrown down. And then we'll go. I don't need this thing anymore. I'll throw it here. I need to buy some splints, and then we'll get to questing. Whoa, that's a lot of Subnautica time. So, Huge, how do you feel about Below Zero? Or do you hold the same opinion that it's a little lesser than the original game? Because I've never, I've never, never spent a moment in the original game. Only the sequel. You don't like it at all. Whoa, okay. And I, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but just, oh, it feels very, I was gonna ask why. It feels very railroady. I do agree with that. It's pretty like linear. You you, go, you do one thing and the next thing. Um, Is the first game more open? Can you do things like in your own, in your own time? Or not in your own time, but in whatever order you would like? Um, Cause the second game is very, I would, it's definitely on a railroad. You're absolutely locked into a story, essentially. Doesn't even tell you what to do. Okay, that's cool. Um, maybe one day I'll check out the original Subnautica on stream. Um, again, not soon and no promises, but maybe one day. Because I loved the second game. Um, I love I love how it's not a horror game. It's just horrifying. Um, I think that that is difficult to do, and uh, they did it really well. So maybe one day. I, I don't think I'm missing anything. This looks like a good inventory to me. Like, as usual, if anyone sees anything that seems insane, just yell at me and I'll, I'll go back. Oh, speaking of things that seem insane, it's not a good inventory. I need to fix my boots. No one even had to yell at me. I remembered that one all on my own. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. And I, I kind of, I this is just me being like not 
used to streaming. I just assumed you would get all my emotes as a moderator, huge. I didn't know you didn't get the emotes unlocked permanently as a mod. I thought that they would just give them to you. Um, so that's, I don't know. But again, tomorrow for sure, I'll have the, 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 the cost of unlocking emotes be cheap. Um, they have like a system that I'm not eligible for because I'm too new, but there you can make it so that followers get emotes. You can have five emotes for your followers. Um, so, oh, yeah, I meant to ask huge. I, I, I should have asked you this like in private. Do you know how to ban people? Like, do you, do you know the functions to, to like ban or time someone out? Cause I realized I didn't tell you, I just asked you to be a mod and then I was like, cool. I didn't actually tell you how to, how to, how to mod. Um, but do you, it seems like you, you maybe know how. Okay. 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 Well, that's good to hear. Sorry. I didn't ask before now. Who needs rules? Anarchy. Let's go. I'm just going to tap on someone's name. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's good to hear. And I, I mentioned this before. I, I shouldn't, ex I shouldn't expect any need of, of any extra moderation is, but, um, know where your line is is what matters. Well, that's the problem. People won't know where my line is when they come in here. So I need rules for other people. But yeah, I don't expect huge to ever have to actually do any moderating. The community is lovely. Just, just while I'm walking my dog, taking my lunch break, you know, I'd want to make sure there's no hate speech in here. So that's awesome. That is so, so awesome to hear. I think I picked a good person to be my first mod. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Plus the badge is shiny. Yeah, you, you, you look like you have power. And I didn't realize this. My quest sword emote just looks like a mod sword. I didn't mean for it to be like that. Normie coming in her lambs to the slaughter. Yeah. I see what you mean, Stone. Um, and we talked about that, so I think Huge and I are on the same page in relation to what should or shouldn't be allowed. Um, but yeah, my, my Quist Sword emote, that is like my least favorite emote, I just made it because um, I wanted, I was, I was just doing stuff, whatever, trying to make emotes. It's literally the mod sword, but like purple and black or purple and white. I didn't realize that until like just now when I'm looking at the sword. It's even angled the same way. That must have been like in my brain. That must have been why I felt like I needed to make the sword emote because I've seen the mod sword so much. And I've said this before, the heart, my quest heart is so good. Yeah, if you should have any emote, it should be that one. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, uh, plan on banning that many people. I don't like doing that. Um, but yeah, timeouts, timeouts will be, you know, more common. But again, really lovely community so far, so I expect that trend to continue. I expect people will show up and continue to be kind and respectful for the most part. And this one's going to uh, give me a Gwinnell's Elixir. I was wrong last time, I was mistaken, but this one's 100% gonna give it to me. We talked about it before I came in the dungeon. I was like, hey, y'all got a, a toller with the elixir, right? Well, they were like, yeah, we'll have it right up. First enemy, it'll it'll have the elixir, no problem. Come on, game, give me the elixir. It's gotta be a 1% chance. I'm, I'm not mad, I just want it. I'm just greedy. Just my goblin brain just tells me to like get the loot. And when it doesn't drop, my goblin brain gets sad. The little, the little greed goblin in my head, the little loot goblin starts yelling at me. This looks like a secret room. Come on, no secret room right there? I'm, I'm, I don't believe it. There's a secret room right there. I don't believe it at all. I'm not buying it. <clears throat> okay. And I didn't level up in the, the last one. Okay, gotta use a blank. Yeah, yeah, if only. Shoot at the wall, see if cracks appear. Um, and that is, of course, for anyone who doesn't know, that's how you find secret rooms in Gungeon. You shoot at the walls and you use a blank. Oh, I'm so stoked. Every time I think about Gungeon, I'm so excited to do the second half of today's stream. And we're going to kill the troll on stream today. It's going to be a good day. Today's going to be a super good day. He said, who would set a trap here? But I don't see one. Oh, it's right here. Okay, okay, okay. 
This was the so that's what it was. The, when I spoke, they said the first enemy. They thought I would come this way first, so that's why I didn't get the the Gwinnell's elixir before. Totally makes sense. It's gonna be this one. I just went the wrong way. That's all. That's all. Give me the elixir, please. 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 Can you ever die? Oh, come on. Every time. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Stone. Well, I hope I didn't ruin your meal, but I'm glad to see that. I hope my distraction wasn't enough to, uh, to stop you from preparing your food correctly. But that's awesome to hear. Two potions and another book. Ooh, Armored Combat Treaty is actually good. Um, uh, this skill. I love this skill so much. Brace for impact. It's fine. I'm only 30 minutes late. Lol. Yeah, okay. That's a little late. Um, hopefully it wasn't like a, you know, a time concern dish that had to go in right away. Level up. Let's go. You love to see it. Now I get my free point. Or my, my free vision from survival. Survival, there we go. And then when I'm out hunting for animals or just out wandering, I'll start spamming um, this. So I'm gonna put it on one again. No, no I won't. Cause I don't wanna accidentally use it. Um, stomach growled and you were like, why am I hungry? I should have food in my mouth right now. What's going on? That's good. Okay, I'm glad I am glad I didn't ruin the meal. Just Just made you a little hungrier. But yeah, this is awesome. This is a really good skill. I, will, I can super hunt uh, bears now. This skill will make killing a bear way easier. Like, way easier. Um, it's it's a, a nice nice change. And of course, when I get Master Huntsman, they'll be even easier. They will stand no shot to the, the prowess of my Huntsman. Um, I don't really have room for it. I'll just leave it. Um, and I shouldn't have gone in there. I'm glad I only saw the one rat, but I need energy. Let me sip some water. I want to tame two bears. Mm. Put packs on them. Pack animals. Yeah. I think we were talking about that, how cool it would be to have pack animals in this game. I think that was, that was you, Stone, I was chatting with. But can't quite do it. Just give us summoning, like old school RuneScape style. Or not old school RuneScape. That never made it into old school. RuneScape like seven years ago or whatever, like 10 years ago. Won't that be next, day, next update with the caravan? Yeah, the caravan will be kind of like pack mules or whatever. Are you talking about donkeys last time? You want bears this time? Huge difference, of course. Donkeys would just be weaklings. Bears would be amazing. But I don't think they're adding pack animals, are they? Just the caravan, like, will function as a pack animal. But if they're adding actual animals, that would be cool, too. I'd love to, like, buy a horse. I'll just go this way. I was gonna go down, and I was like, why? Why do you feel the need to go down? This way is fine, too. Well, I should have gone down, because now I have to backtrack. These taming mods were close. Yeah. I think that is the beast taming mod made by the same the same person that makes the uh, the vampire mod. I think it is. I feel like I remember remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah, it's just Varian. He just runs around and chases you. That'll be kind of like pack animals a little bit. Can't bring him into the dungeon, but I don't think I would bring a donkey into this dungeon either way. Yeah, and the necromancy mod, same dev team. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was just a person. I didn't realize they were a team, but um, but yeah. I, that they they seem to be making some pretty popular mods for this game. So again, hopefully the game will blow up and they will blow up along with it. Hope it doesn't cost items or gold to move the caravan. I think it would be cool if it did. I would be down to um like have to buy like give them like a bolt of cloth or something every time to like repair the tarp with. I would be down for that. But um, I like kind of tedious gameplay like that, though, so. That's, that's, uh. Stop this man from influencing the devs. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't mean to walk forward. I meant to use my skill. Oh, and I used my skills in, like, the wrong order. I went, like, insane. Um, I gotta take the silver ring. I'll just drop a bell. 
and something is gonna chase after me from over there I'll just drink I'll drink up and get gone I will get drunk and fight whoever this is of course I'm sorry I found a sixth one that's fine I'll find one eventually I will get one eventually and I'm not I'm not really like slamming through these dungeons with like such a pace um, like these in particular and maybe they're a higher drop rate if you go into a tier 4 dungeon. You're stealing all my luck. That's okay. You can have it. I don't need it. I got enough luck. I got enough. I'm lucky enough to be here streaming. Feed the horse, perhaps? But well, they should be able to graze in local grass. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind if the game was like, you have to pay to move, or you have to provide materials to move. As long as the materials aren't super rare. Uh, I don't want this disenchant. I want the brandy. Brandy. Oh, what? I didn't open this? Okay, okay, okay. It feels good to be rested. I mentioned this at the start of the stream. I, like, made sure to be extra rested today because I've been tired on stream the past few days. It feels really good to not be tired right now. Oh, there's so much left of this floor. I'm just gonna. Leave. I'll do the rest of this floor, and then I'm gonna leave. I need. I want more room, like more loot. Um, I might even leave and come back with less meds. Without the backpack on, I'm just. Maybe I should just have the backpack on. Um, it's not like I need the cloak for this, but yeah, without the backpack, I'm just so desperate for for medicine. Ooh, what'd you get? What'd you get? Huge. Hmm. I'll just throw it on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave so I can get more loot. This is a greed leave. The dungeon is easy, but I am I am desperate for loot. A magic sword. Okay. Not bad. I can't imagine you'll use it over the relic staff, but it's a it's a collector piece, I suppose. Speaking directly to getting too much feedback, I kinda think they would have a quicker progress if they just have to do what they want and reveal the finished product. Then if people see something they absolutely hate, they could consider tweaking it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty okay with, with how they've developed the game. Like, I'm, I'm okay with it. I know a lot of people are really bothered by the pace of development and, you know, the, the, the changing... Uh, using my offhand for skinning. Oh, that's so bougie huge. You're going to use a magic sword for skinning. That's amazing. Um... But I know the pace and the, the changing of the goalposts on the roadmaps has bothered some people, but it doesn't bother me at all. As long as the devs are, like, passionate and trying to be honest and trying to deliver, then that's, that's all that matters to me. And I, I believe that these devs are, so I'm okay with however the development's going to be. Not bad, just an arrow, thank you. And I'm also not like I'm not a dev. I've I've never done anything, so if I'm too rich. I'll keep I'll keep using my kitchen knife. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not a dev, so I don't know like you know like my opinion isn't worth anything essentially for for a dev. I mean, I don't mean that to be like you know detrimental, like self detrimental. Just I'm not an expert in that field, so I hope they aren't listening to my opinions because they're much closer to being an expert than I am, considering it's their job. Yeah. But it would also be really nice if the game was out by now. I really thought it was going to be out by now when I bought it. I totally thought this game would be done in, you know, the three years' time that I've owned it. So, um, I have, I have, you know, I completely understand when people are frustrated, especially with this game, because the pace has been very slow. But I just go with the flow. You know, if I'm enjoying the game whatever essentially like if i'm having fun fun I said fun really weird if i'm having fun then you know i don't care if it's in a beta or done you know i just try to enjoy my time with it and hopefully it'll be better later but if if this is if this is as good as it gets that's fine with me and i'm out of scrolls do i have more identification scrolls i can't really remember uh, oh i have a bunch let's go I'll drop this in this. Put 40 hours into it. I'm kind of done for now. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Um, 40 hours is a lot. 
Like, that is, you know. Yeah, I got too many other fully released games to play. I feel you. Ooh, this is a real healing potion. That's what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, and, and 40 hours is, like, enough time to do a lot of content in the game. That's, that's a, you know. Not for you? Oh, okay. Fair enough, yeah, it's like 40 is like a week of play. Straight? Uh, I mean, not like a, a week, like, all day, but if you played like, like 10 or 10 hours a day or something, like 8 hours a day, 40. Um, and I'll, I'll just keep selling these books. Don't care if it's not efficient, essentially. I know I shouldn't, but it's fine. That doesn't go here, though. If I really like a game, it's 500 hours, 300 min. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, got your money's worth at least with the 40 hours. And I, I always try to, like, do, can you know, consider that for my games as well. I'm like, you know, this game cost me 40 bucks, but if I played it for 100 hours, it's like, you know, 50 cents per hour of fun. Ringing my money out with my hours. Yeah, I'm, I'm up there with you, huge. I've got more than my money's worth. And I missed a potion. Been excited for Gord. I don't know what Gord is. Do you mean Gordian Quest? Is that what you mean by Gord? That's all I can think of. Because I've never heard of a game called Gord. Yeah, doing in great. Yeah, in comparison to the AFK devs, they're definitely doing better than that. Oh no, it's just called Gord, and it was announced years ago. Mm, that sucks. That sucks. And I keep not throwing this. Whatever, I didn't go to the boss yet. I'll throw it at the boss. I'll do my best to remember to throw it at the boss. Um, yeah, it always sucks when a game gets announced, and then they just don't complete it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is not awesome. That is always the most frustrating. If, you know, if the devs are slow, that's annoying. If whatever, you know, there's a lot of things that can be annoying, but when the game just stops getting developed, that's that's the most frustrating thing, like, possible. Uh, I don't want anything from you. Why did I talk to you? Why did I feel the need to talk to this person? I don't know. My sanity's low. I need to eat some uh, mind worts. I need to eat a mind wort. Uh, and I said I might come back with less medicine, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to drop any medicine. I don't want to die, so I'll keep all my medicine. Give me veggies. Okay. Pick up some arrows and throw them back down. Yeah, yeah, when movies are announced like 10 years out, it's, yeah, it's like, who cares? Like, okay, your movie's gonna be great next decade? Like, cool. That, that, that'll, in, that'll literally impact no one for 10 years. Why are you announcing it? No shot. This is staying in my, in my inventory until I die or until I drink it. I, I will never take this out of my inventory. Um, I actually should have a, oh, I do have a Vivi. I was like, I should have a Vivi too. I didn't see it, but I have one. The essence that is vivifying exists in my in my pockets, so and we're good to go. All immunity, all food, all hunger, blah blah blah. We're good. We're good. This is a decent amount of space for loot. Not the greatest, but a decent amount. I can carry two monk staffs and some other stuff. Those monk staffs are actually really nice. I sold for like two hundred when it was like fully, you know, like fixed up. I just found a nice one. Um, but that's good money. And I think they buffed him on this this patch. I think the, the monk staff sells for more now, so... If previously you were leaving it behind, it might be worth looking at now. Whoa, 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 why? I don't want to see that ghoulin. That thing's terrifying. Um, apparently they have skills now? Yeah, they, they like do stuff? Oh, whoa. Yeah, okay, we're, ne we're never fighting a ghoulin. Oh, you, you've never oh, you, you've never seen a ghoulin? Really training so potions couldn't be on the side. Were you saying what is that to something else or to the ghoulin? 
Literally never. Oh yeah, so they 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 exist only out here in the uh, the step. Um, that's why it's it's what makes the Bryn walk so scary is these ghoulins. When you when you do a, a Bryn walk, um, from Manshire down to Bryn early game, these will just literally one shot you. Um, but they only appear in the step, and they're a later game mob. They're very spooky. Like for instance, every time they hit you, they get 15 life drain for six turns. They're 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 unbelievably just magically avoided them. They're not super common, and I think as you level up, they become more common, like as you become higher level. Um, so if, if in the early game, they're, they're easier to find, or they're harder to find, easier to avoid. And then um, once you get to, the, if you're just fast traveling everywhere, you know, they're, they're never like over here. Like you'll never find a ghoul in over here. They're only in this section of the map, so. Um, but yeah, they're, they're very spooky. They will They will tear people up. And they're pack animals. They, they they spawn in packs sometimes. There'll be like three of them, so. I think their hide is worth a lot. Like a ghoulin pelt is like a, like it's just a wolf pelt, but better essentially, but. It's a ton at 30 spawn. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they would mess me up. You ran all over this section. Yeah, you just might have missed them somehow. Or again, if you were low level, um, that might have been it. Never got to level 30, yeah. They might not spawn below level 10 or something. You get packs of six or seven. Jeez, huge, that's insanity. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.